Hello everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd bringing you another episode of Fascist Mexico. I want to say that I recorded this uh, way before it's actually airing, so I know you're going to have, if you do have comments or questions, I will get to them, and actually I won't uh, address them directly as I'm going to be traveling again on business next week so for the next uh, this episode and the next three it's going to be a little bit uh, incommunicado uh, just bear with me on that I know that you guys are always good about that so you also see that I made some changes here off camera and that was more of just saving time but I, I moved around some divisions um, Gildardo uh, only has the mountaineer units now in his army and the reason for that is, is with his mountaineer um, modifier here with his movement his attack and his defense that should help out a lot and now I was able to set up the front so that I can just he can just worry about that and we can execute a battle plan hopefully I also have Luis F Farrell coming over he doesn't have any modifiers but the extra 15 men 15 division should help I then the rest of the of what was the Fuetzas Imperialis is now under what is now just colloquially known as the First Army here. Um, but uh, I put in some of the Peru units, the Southern Peru units that were down here, Peruvian units, as well as the rest that were part of um, the Fuerza Imperialis. And now that is under a new general named Joaquin Cora. Uh, we still have the Peruvian Expeditionary Army, but that is mostly up north here, just kind of kind of babysitting everyone. So, so that's what I did off camera, so let's start nerding it up. Welcome, welcome everyone again. I don't know what the Americans are doing, but it looks like they're, they're, they're bugging out, which is not good. Just because I moved those men there doesn't mean that that's what I want you to do. Well, now you're attacking. The problem is still... Now, okay. Well, the problem still is that we're just, we just don't have enough equipment, don't have enough material. And it's still gonna be risky here. I'm gonna make this be a little bit more careful in his planning. Luis Farrell, uh, Gildardo, he's, he's a crazy man. He's gonna do whatever the hell he wants. Our Cuban infantry Oh, uh, that one was up on Cuba's coming. Almost arrived. We have Luis Farrell's there now on board ships, thankfully. Took them long enough. Alright. Okay, so the Americans have opened up a new front here on Bolivia, trying to gain any kind... any sort of breakthrough. So the problem here with with these units as we've got to move them so far. Okay, they're here now. Put them down here with Cora. Right? Yeah, right. Right click. I assigned it to him, right? Yeah. Why has he not brought them down? Do I need to... I need to assign them to this order. There you go. We should start move, moving. And we're having supply issues. Supply issues up here. Okay. So who are they giving credit? That's they're considering that part of Peru. And that's not really what I want. This should all be mine. Looks like they found a weak spot there. Right north of La Paz. I wonder, can we... I mean, we're only got 75 there. kind of feel like we should... What did we get here? Uh, moving, but... but... Only... We're still... We're still... We're moving, but we're losing. They have started the attack again. Now don't move. Don't move. There we go. That's not good. Okay. It was good. 
I thought that was our transports, which I was really not happy about. We are just sinking all sorts of ships around the Galapagos Islands. Alright, towed artillery anti-tank's done. Not that we really needed it. Still got that going. Air Doctrine here. Yeah, we're gonna not deal with that. Uh, why don't we do decryption? It's only 41 days. Okay, we're finally pressing the Bolivians here. Excellente. I feel like I can help out here. There we go. Man, how do these guys lose experience? This is what I just don't understand. You've been in how many battles and you're losing experience? No, Britain, go away. Um, why hasn't this triggered yet? Fall of Rome. Allied forces have entered in Rome? Okay, that is a significant dome. Like, why can't... I, like, why are we still... staging the coup? We, we should... The coup should be ready to go. I, I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, uh, we're losing, but we're at 90. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Oh, I see. They're at 90. We're losing. I gotcha. Right, I guess we need a lot more men for that. I don't want to waste it. Oh, good. Farrell's here. Where should I put him? Let's bring him down here. Outside Bolivia. We're almost there to push him out. Come on. We'll leave our supply situations here. The problem is now we're running into his infrastructure. Oh, they're not part of it either. That's all right. We're winning this. We'll just let them chew themselves up against us here. And we're still disadvantaged. Really, we just need ships that can bombard the coast, but we don't have any. It looks like they're pushing here. I'm going to help them out just a little bit here with one of these Peruvian units. Got entrenched. No order. See, why didn't they add any of these guys to the orders? How many men they got here? 16. Okay. That, I don't understand what's going on then. Yeah, at least the Americans have the men to just keep on throwing them against here. I think I'll try to sweep south then. That's the plan. We are getting beat up. Like, why are they... Why do we not have... Why do we not have orders? Require more supplies than it has capacity for. Oh, that's why. Okay. See, I don't like this. Peru's taking all this territory. That wasn't the plan. That wasn't the plan at all, but I guess that makes so... Damn it! 
That makes sense because like, oh, because we're attacking out of this whole thing's not even worth it for me. Jeez. I don't, can I demand control of a state? Maybe. No, 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 no. Ask for control of the state. Thank you. Yes. Whoa! Hey, buddy! You calm the fuck down. Part of my language, but really, dude. Are you kidding me? That's how you're gonna act, Baru? You suck. Oh, God, this is all... This isn't even worth it. Shit, I'm not even gonna get the steal anyway. Oh, my God. Well, it's taken my... Why the hell do I care? Oh, my God. And we're giving it to Peru. I did not even think about it. I... Damn it. <laughs> Maybe I should take Brazil. They have four steel I could take. Oh, that was so stupid of me. And no one said I was a genius at this game. That, there you go. Lesson learned. Peru controls this location because I'm a freaking moron. Oh. Oh, all that tungsten gone. I suppose now I'm gonna have to trade with Peru for it. Watch. Hey, when I go to trade, hey man, I want some tungsten. Oh, they're not even. Oh, I guess they don't have it yet. Peru, they have two tungsten right now. I'm sure they're gonna have a lot more. Damn it. Ain't that a kick in the pants? Well, now we have 13 units here. But they're cut off, I guess. Well, Bolivia's got a lot of units all of a sudden. Alright. That's annoying as hell. Let's drop this back. I'll just send one there and it'll take forever to, to get through. Well, if we're gonna act like that, then I guess we'll just we'll just flip these. One a week, but uh oh well. Better than better than one and a half airplanes per month. Fighters. Why don't we look at... Um, clearly we need more resources on our own, so we're going to have to deal with it that way. Oh, good. We're almost done here with uh, those two. Man, I feel like such a moron. Hey, at least we're converting over some factories here, so that's good. We have plenty of free military factories. We don't have enough supply. Or enough, um... Uh, enough resources. Oh, now it's 77 days? You suck. Ay, ay, ay. How are planes doing? Are they even doing running any? Oh, oh, cancel. Are they running any sorties? I 
I guess. I can't tell if they are or aren't. Yes, I know, we're running out of supply. Thank you. Wait, are we, we seriously did not win that battle? No, we didn't, because we're morons. Well, Peru's going to be, should be very happy for us. Not that they're going to give us any of this. All I want is Chile, and I'm not going to get it, because... Because, where is Pharrell and his army? I don't care how, what he, how you say his name. He's Pharrell to me. Like Peru, upgrade your infrastructure. Alright. Now we can do some of this stuff. We'll do convoy. Actually, I won't. I mean, like, really, what's the point? Some dispersed industry. We'll get naval research time down to 10. Because that's really all I'm good at is commerce reading. Uh, do we even have a bomber? That's a good question. Tank designer. Not that we have any tanks. Why don't we do this and get uh, fighters, bombers. We'll do that. Yes, I know we have insufficient resources. Thank you. Hey, at least we're getting these things re rebuilt. This will be done sometime next week. It's amazing how we just stalled against these guys. That's right, it looks like the Americans have come. Oh no, that's, that's Venezuela. Venezuela's out for blood. Look at that. Who has all these divisions? Peru. They, they want this land for sure. What do we got here? What's happening? No orders. Oh no. Ay, ay, ay. I just can't believe I didn't realize that sooner, but... Oh well. I guess that's what happens. These guys are all out of supply. They've gummed up the supply network. Um... All right, good. We've started construction here on Cundamarca. Slowly, slowly transferring them over to civilian. When will this be done? December. Okay. Do, 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 do. This isn't increasing, is it? No. Man, that really takes the wind out of my sails. Not like I can turn around and attack Peru. And, and the, the fact that they won't even give it to me. It's like they know. They know exactly why I wanted it. Now they don't even want to do it. Peru does not control enough occupied territory to want to give you anything. Thinks the handling control of occupation will give you an unfair share of occupied territory. Uh, I highly doubt that. Who is your leader? It is me. Right now we're all stalled. Really? This is not going well. I guess I'll just suck up to... Oh, I was on. 
I was like, what the hell? He's... No, 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 no. Give me one more. Get our steel. We got lots of chromium. I tell you. At least now we have full steel production, even though this rubber production, but oh well. Taking a while here to bring up the production efficiency. Uh, we can bring it to support equipment, which we probably need. And allow it to put us over again. That's okay. Because it's going to have to be okay. Ay, ay, ay. Alrighty, guys. We'll, we'll end it here. Thank you all for watching. That was horrible. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that happened. Well, I guess I guess we just love Peru that much. We're going to give them... God damn it. This just pisses me off. Alright, guys. If you like this video and all my horrible horrible mistakes um go ahead and leave a like it looks like i'm gonna have to attack brazil or something i don't know because that's just that's just batshit stupid on my part but thank you all for watching this episode of fascist mexico go ahead and leave a like share it around the internet and if this is your first time here and you want to subscribe to this moronic idiot that i am go ahead and click on that red subscribe button Let's me know that I'm doing a great job and you want to see more Grand Strategy games from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Until next time, everyone, good night and good luck. I certainly need it. <laughs>